like I promised, here's Peter Parker. He's back. He's back. He's happy and he's back. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if my voice sounds a bit funky today. Um, I've I've had like a sore throat for the past three days, and I'm like, oh man, please don't be sick. I don't want to be sick. I don't feel like being sick. No one has time to be sick, you know. So, <laughs> but I'm, so far I'm still on the sore throat phase. So I'm, I'm feeling good though. I have good energy. <laughs> um, okay, let's get into this bad fiction. I don't want to talk the whole intro because I know. You guys are here for the fan fiction. Um, <laughs> make sure to go support the author because we love authors in this community. And we honestly, this author is so, so nice. So nice. So please go over and support them and read some of their other work. Or read ahead because, you know, I post slow. And <laughs> the link to this fan fiction as well as the music and if there are any sound effects, they will all be linked in the description below. So go check that out too. Alrighty, let's get into this video. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Bye! Shay clung to her friend's neck as they swung through the city before landing on the rooftop of a tall building near the center of the city. Peter swallowed as his ears popped when they touched down and the girl released her hold on him, making her way to the edge and sitting down, her legs dangling over the side of the building. That's dangerous, you know, Peter commented as he joined her, ripping his mask off of his head. I'll be fine, Shay waved him off, sending a small smile his way. You're here. Peter was grateful that it was probably too dark up here for her to see the flush that appeared on his face. Shay sighed and turned to look back out at the city. New York was brightly lit at night, especially during the summer, and Peter remembered, not for the first time, how much she really loved to live here. How much she loved to protect the city and swing around its streets. I never knew my father. Shay started, interrupting Peter's thoughts and causing him to turn all of his attention to her. I don't know who he was or anything. My mother said I wasn't supposed to happen in the first place. She let out a dry chuckle. Hell of a good thing to tell your eight-year-old daughter when she asks why she doesn't have a dad too, huh? Peter felt his heart sinking. Uh, I'm sorry. She raised her hand to halt his stream of words. Don't, Peter. Just let me finish. Shay. Peter felt the words die in his throat and closed his mouth instead to allow her to continue. I've never been close to her. Like at all, I mean, she explained. When I was 12, she met a rich guy who lived in Florida and started dating him. My mother moved down to live with him, sold our old apartment, and rented the one I live in now for me. She sends money around every three months to me. She took a deep, shaky breath before continuing. I was kind of just adopted, I guess, by the people in my building and around the city. I had to walk to school every day and pretty much just develop a relationship with a lot of those who were homeless in the city, as you've probably noticed. Peter nodded, a small smile playing on his lips as he remembered the first time he met Shay. My mom never tried to get close with me either. It's very obvious that she never wanted me that she still doesn't want me. She always compared me to my father, even if I never knew him. She said I was too much like him. She said she wished I was more like her. You have too much ambition, Shay. Being smart will only get you hurt, Shay. Your inventions aren't going to get you anywhere, Shay. She says I stress her out and that her stress levels are up too much anyways, and I need to stop hurting her health. Shay's fists clenched. My own mother. The one who deserted me and left me here while she went off to live a lavish life in Florida, where I know for a fact that she doesn't work, accuses me in every letter she sends of hurting her health when she doesn't even see me more than once a year. Shay, sometimes? She interjected as if she had never heard him. Maybe she hadn't. I wish that I did know my father. My mother said she never told him. She said he was a horrible person who wouldn't give her the light of day. I think that 
in some twisted way, she saw me as a way to have a leg up on him. If she ever needed anything from him, whoever he was, maybe she thought she could use me as some sort of bargaining chip. Maybe she tried to at some point and failed, so she just left me here. Peter was silent as she sucked in a breath of air and paused for a moment simply to breathe. When Shay spoke again, her words seemed to barely want to come out, but she managed, and Peter's enhanced hearing caught every word. The last time I saw her, it was for the first time around. It was my 15th birthday. She swallowed and sniffed before continuing. She told me... She told me that she regretted having me in the first place. Shay gritted her teeth. Peter could see her do it. She said she wished I didn't even exist in the first place. That I had ruined her life. That if she could go back and do it again, she would have made a hell of a big deal about staying away from my father so that she wouldn't have to deal with me again. Shay's body began to shake, and Peter could see tears glistening as they fall silently down her cheeks, leaving shiny trails that glinted in the light from the city below. Peter bit the inside of his cheek and his tongue as he moved over to wrap his arm around the shoulder of his friend. Shay subconsciously leaned into him before pulling him closer to her in a hug and allowing her sobs to rack her body. I know I should hate her. Shay whimpered, her fingers grasping the small bit of tight fabric on Spider-Man's suit that she was able to. I know I should, but I don't. I can't. She's my mother, you know? And she's a horrible, horrible person, but I can't hate her, no matter how much I want to. Peter simply returned the embrace and nodded. Yay, Club Day! Peter grinned and threw his arms into the air. YAY CLUB DAY! The two enhanced teenagers walked down the street of New York, the last day of August, to head over to the gathering of after-school activities at Midtown, better known by everyone as CLUB DAY. Peter had to talk to the decathlon team after they lost a few members to graduation, and Shay was coming along just for the heck of it. Ned and MJ should be here too, Shay said, her smile growing. They said their planes would land in time. MJ texted and said she touched down, Peter mentioned, relaying information verbally that his friend already knew from the group chat. We're waiting for confirmation from Ned then, Shay nodded. He might be back already and forgotten to text. Seems like something Ned would do. It does indeed. They turned the corner at Shay's direction and saw the looming building of the school come into view. Shay groaned. I love club day, but I really don't feel like going back to school yet. I get that, Peter said, nodding in agreement, especially with homecoming coming up. He glanced at his friend. You know what that means? Shay nodded, her lips forming a very thin line. I do. Peter was dreading having to go through homecoming again. He wondered how much would stay the same. Everything had worked out relatively well last time, so it would be good to stick to it generally. <laughs> stick to it web puns. But Shay in the picture as well would change a lot of things with her addition alone. Not even considering the fact that Peter knew what was going to happen. Peter! Shay! Both teens look up to see Ned waving to them enthusiastically, MJ beside him with a small smirk on her face. Hey losers. MJ said when the other two joined them. She nodded in the other girl's direction. Shay. Shay grinned and moved forward to wrap MJ in a hug. Hey, MJ, the girl said. MJ stiffened for a moment in surprise before returning the gesture. Shay backed out of the embrace after a moment and smiled. It's nice to see you. Same, Peter said, raising his hand up from where he stood. How was your guys' summer? Ned asked as they all began to walk to the front doors to head inside. Good, Peter said, smiling. Not much happened, though which is surprising considering the life I lead. MJ snorted. <laughs> That's true. I'd probably have a hard time believing you had a normal life without your secret identity, though. 
You and Shay both are living human disasters, Parker. Hey! All four laughed at the exclamation, though as they turned into the gym and were bombarded with the buzz of the many students gathered there. We just need to find the map and see what room Decathlon's in, Ned said, scanning the dense crowd. There, Shay said, pointing to a board displayed with the list of clubs and the room they had a bigger base set up in. Shay broke from the group and scurried over to the board, her eyes traveling down the list until she found what she was looking for before she skipped back to her friends. Room 318. The pounding of their shoes on the stairs as they ascended from the first floor to the third echoed through the stairwell. Both Ned and MJ were panting when they reached their destination. That... MJ gasped as she took in a breath of air and glared at him, Ned leaning against the wall beside her to catch his breath. It was not fair. She pointed at Peter. You cheated. By being myself? Yes! Then how is Shay fine? Peter asked, knowing that MJ couldn't possibly answer the question correctly. MJ seemed to be at a loss for words as she said no more instead grabbing Ned by the shoulder and pulling him up into a standing position before nodding down the hallway. Let's go. They walked down the hall scattered with students and turned a corner before arriving in front of a door. A bright poster with the words Academic Decathlon was stuck to the front of the door, and the plaque next to it read 318. Here we are, Peter said, grabbing the door handle. He pulled it open and held it to allow his three friends to go inside. Peter! Ned! Michelle! Peter's eyes flew up and landed on Liz Toombs. Liz looked the exact same as he last saw her. Except she wasn't crying and her life wasn't falling apart. Her grin was wide and her hair was as perfect as he remembered. He must not have gotten over her as much as he thought he did because he still got a small flutter in his stomach when he looked at her. It wasn't as big as it used to be, but he couldn't deny its presence. Hey Liz, Ned smiled, giving her a small wave. MJ nodded in her direction. Hi Liz, Peter managed to say. How was your summer? Good, good, Liz nodded, grinning. I got to hang out with my dad a lot. Peter's heart felt like a black hole at that. What about you? It was okay, I guess, Peter shrugged. Not much really happened. Liz hummed. Hmm, sorry about that, Peter. She turned to address the room as a whole again. Now! Liz clapped her hands together and flashed the others a wide smile. Let's get down to business, Peter continued. To defeat the Huns in his head before paying attention again. We have only a few weeks once school starts up again before the big competition comes up and we need to be ready. Liz cleared her throat and turned to the board as the projector flickered to life. Okay, we had Willow Hart leave us as she graduated last year, so we're left with one open spot. She turned to Flash. Flash, as first alternate, you'll stay the same while we need one new second alternate. Liz's eyes scanned the room. Those of you who are not on the decathlon team and are here to try out for it, please raise your hand. Ned, could you close the door, please? As Ned moved away to do so, Peter nudged his best friend beside him. Shay, you should try out. What? Peter, no, I can't. Shay, come on, Peter said, giving her the dreaded puppy dog eyes. Please? Shay bit her lip before sighing and raising her hand as Liz's eyes passed over her for the count. All right then, Liz said. I counted six people. Please come up and grab both your test and bubble sheets. There are 30 multiple choice questions and one writing one for you to do. You have one hour to complete it. If you are not on the team and are not trying out right now, please head outside. About ten people stood up and shuffled out of the room, the door closing behind them again. Decathlon team members, please come into the other room with me. We're going to be going over some drills to refresh your mind. Mr. Harrington, you're staying in here to watch the test takers? The teacher gave a thumbs up from the desk. Great, alright, we'll be back in an hour to see who will be our new team member. Good luck everyone! Liz led the group out of the classroom door and into the one next door. Peter, MJ, and Ned all gave a small wave to Shay as they left her to take the test. The girl nibbled her lower lip more and took a seat with her test and bubble sheet in hand. After filling out her name and the date, Shay opened the package to the first question right as the other five scattered around the room did as well. Shay heard one girl breathe out, Oh god, why? 
as all eyes landed on the first question. Shay felt a smirk coming on her face and loved how ironic the problem was. Law of Signs She placed her pencil down and scribbled a bit, using the calculator providing the sin before circling her answer and continuing on. She shot through the questions one after the other, covering everything from geometry to calculus, biology to astronomy, engineering to chemistry, physics to statistics, and who knows what else. Shay found herself with half the time left when she made it to the end of the multiple choice and was greeted with the writing one. She flipped the page and saw one page front and back of lines for her to write on. Shay bit down on her lip as she always did and scanned the question. She thought for a moment before her pencil started flying across the page, scattering down letter after letter, word after word. Five minutes later, she flipped the page and kept writing on the back sheet of lines. Five minutes after that, she stood up, moved to where the pile of lined pieces of paper was sitting in front of the room, grabbed one sheet and sat back down to continue writing. Twenty minutes and another extra sheet of paper later and Shay finished her answer to the writing question, just as the door to the classroom opened and the academic decathlon team marched back in. Shay felt her heart pound as she organized her papers, numbering them quickly and stacking them between the last two pages of the packet, slipping the bubble sheet between the front two. All right, Liz grinned from the front of the room, the decathlon team standing behind her. Let's see your answers. We'll put the bubble sheets through the scantron first before seeing the writing question. Any questions? No one spoke a word. Great. Please pass your bubble sheets up to the front with your name written on them somewhere. Shay passed her sheet to the girl sitting in front of her, closer to the front, and dug her fingers into a bit of fabric at the hem of her shirt as nerves set in. Here we go, Liz said, placing the first paper under the scanner. It beeped after a moment and a percentage appeared on the screen. 89.4, Charlena! The girl in question, a teen with bright red hair, smiled. Nice job! Other numbers were read off. A 92.6, an 84.1, and a 94.4. Every time the highest scorers got theirs defeated, their faces seemed to fall before Liz reassured them that their writing could win it for them anyway. Jimmy with a 96.7! Liz exclaimed, flashing the smug-looking boy with spiky blonde hair a smile. Nice! And finally, Shay. Liz read off Shay's name and she had her eyes glued to the screen, her friend's eyes doing the exact same. Shay with a... 100%! Shay felt her face heat up drastically as eyes all fell on her. One of the other testers hissed, Damn! Ned sent her a thumbs up, MJ a nod, and Peter a blinding beam of a smile. That's amazing! I've never seen that score before! Shay's face got even warmer and she wanted to fall into the ground, but she swallowed it down and closed her fist in an attempt to stop any nervous energy from escaping. Anyway, on to the essay scoring. Let's see... Jimmy, how about yours first? Rip off the page and pass it up here. The boy did so and his writing, a whole front page, was displayed to the group. Liz read it out loud before discussing with the team and giving it a 6 out of 10. The girl Charlena got an 8 out of 10, and other scores ended up being 9 out of 10, 4 out of 10, and another 8 out of 10. Shay, yours please. Shay felt all eyes on her as she ripped off the back page, stuffed with writing, and placed the other two line pages full of it as well behind it. The girl Charlena raised her hand. Charlena? Can I withdraw from the competition? Charlena asked, eyeing the three papers covered in pencil with a mix of apprehension and awe. If you really want to, but I don't think- I'd like to as well, the boy, Jimmy said, raising his hand and standing from his seat. Me too. Same. Yeah. Shay watched as her competition all dropped out just by seeing her papers, and when Liz gave a dumbfounded nod of approval, they all filled out of the room without another word. Well? Liz said, finally finding her voice. She looked at Shay. I guess you're in just by pure process of, uh, elimination. Shay nodded weakly and stood up from her seat. Liz managed to place a grin back on her face again and held out a hand. Welcome to Midtown's academic decathlon team, Shay. The teenager forced a smile onto her lips and shook the hand firmly. But not too firmly, what with her enhancements. Thank you. Liz handed her a small badge. We don't wear these ever, but here you go. 
Shay nodded and took the badge from the senior. We've got competition for the first few weeks, and if we get to nationals, up through homecoming. And then we'll start tests inside the team to determine positions like alternates and mains for the new year. Sound good? Sounds great, Shay nodded, confirming what she heard. She still felt her heart beating away in her chest, and she realized and tried to process the fact that she was on the academic decathlon team. Awesome, Liz beamed. We don't meet on the first day of school, but we do on the second day in the decathlon room. You know where that is, right? Shay nodded. Great, you'll get a meeting schedule then. These first few weeks will be a bit crazy, but after the competitions, they'll settle down. Shay nodded once again, and her smile widened and became more natural. Cool, thank you. Liz nodded before turning back to the rest of the team. Meeting adjourned, I guess. See you all in school. This is awesome! Peter exclaimed, grinning at his friend as they walked down the hallway to his apartment for lunch, and probably dinner if Shay stayed long enough. You're on the decathlon team! I'm on the decathlon team! We're both on the decathlon team! Shay laughed. It's kinda cool to be part of the team for once. For once? Peter scoffed. Shay, we've been a team since you saved me from those dudes who were actually really cool, and then when you took a bullet out of my shoulder. Oh, thanks Peter. Shay said, her cheeks dusted with red as Peter unlocked and opened the door to his home. Peter, nephew of mine, May greeted. Shay, surrogate niece of mine. May, surrogate aunt of mine, Shay said in greeting, causing May to grin at her and Peter to groan. Petey, why is Shay blushing? May asked, turning to her real nephew. She got on the decathlon team, May, Peter exclaimed. Really? May's eyes widened as she turned to Shay her grin growing. Shay, that's amazing! Thanks, May, Shay said, her cheeks darkening even more. Now, what are we having for lunch? May asked, clapping her hands together as she pulled herself up from the couch. Her eyes glinting dangerously. She turned to Shay. I was thinking pasta. Shay. My mom is mean and neglectful and really shouldn't be a parent, but I love her because she's my mom, you know? Peter. Cool, bro. Peter and Shay. Club day! MJ and Ned. We have returned! Shay. Yo, I'm gonna come into this meeting for no reason. Peter. Join! Shay. No. Peter. Join! Shay. Fine. Shay. I am so smart. I saw I write a lot. Other kids. Yeah, no. She's got this. We gonna leave. Shay, yay, I'm on the team! May, you are my niece. Shay, you are my aunt. Peter, I hate you both. Peter and Shay for the whole chapter. We literally have so much romantic tension, it's insane! But not yet, dear listener! Not yet can that tension be broken! <laughs> this is a long chapter, alright! Alright! I see what you're doing, author! Alright! <laughs> this is fun, though. This was, like, one of the most fun I had making one of these. Because it was just funny! And we were just really smart and intimidated other smart people. <laughs> They're like, you know what? We're just going to leave. We don't want to sit through these three front and back pages of just her answering this one question. You know, we, we get it. She's smart. We're going to leave. We got it. And she's just like, don't. Don't look at me. I'm, I, I know. I'm smart. Just, just don't look at me. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, or whenever you're watching this. See you in the next one, guys. Bye!